Well, very summer like out there today, not with the sunshine, but with the heat and the storms. Yeah, uh, you know, further south, they were more close to the mid 80s at times. Wow. Okay. But you go further north with the storms, not as hot, but yeah. still very active. And th this is why we're concerned here with this flood watch. It does continue until 8 p.m. on Wednesday for areas basically Lansing and points northward. There's already been a lot of rain that's fallen in this area over the past couple of weeks, and there's going to be a lot more the next couple of days. And so flooding definitely a concern for all of us, but especially for along and north by 96. The next couple of days, streams and creeks and rivers likely on the rise. If you're near some ponding, remember, turn around and don't drown. Now, Doppler radar has been active here today. Uh, at the moment, we seem to be right between two active bands. There were some good showers and thunderstorms that moved uh, north of Lansing, now off to the east. And there's some more action moving in from the west. Now, I think most of this will stay north of town here tonight. But there could be some lightning and some thunder if you're north of Lansing here tonight. We'll have to keep a close eye on that. As for Jackson, you've been fairly quiet here today, but hot. You will get some action as early as overnight and tomorrow as well. On campus, we are seeing some sun trying to dry out after some good showers and thunderstorms moved through here today. But it's also very muggy, right? A lot of moisture in the air, so it feels pretty heavy out there. Actual temperature at 70 on campus. But again, you head further south. The big difference, 83 right now in Adrian, 82 in Coldwater, 69 degrees in St. John's. So there's that difference with the clouds and the rain north kept things a touch cooler, but again, still muggy out there. You factor in the humidity and it feels like 86 right now in Adrian, so it feels heavy out there. Stay cool. If you're further south, you're going to feel it here the next couple of hours. Uh, the showers and thunderstorms that we saw move through have now shifted off to the east, but again, there's more back to the west and a lot more in the plains, and this surge of moisture is going to continue for the next couple of days. We're talking rain tomorrow and parts of Thursday as well. So there's going to be a good soaking and that's why that flood watch is in effect. Not out of the woods yet tonight. We're keeping a close eye on things. The slight risk is still Lansing and points northward. So I think the worst of it will be from Grand Rapids up towards Saginaw, but we'll keep a close eye on things. Future track shows some of those showers and thunderstorms moving through tonight, but again, mainly north of Lansing is where we're expecting the worst of it. As for your Wednesday, a few showers passing through, maybe a thunderstorm. I don't think the severe threat tomorrow is as high as it is tonight north of Lansing, but yeah, we may see and hear some lightning and some thunder on Wednesday. As for your Thursday, yeah, a few more showers are expected, mainly for the first half of the day. We should dry out later. Thursday. Getting back to tonight, talking severe threats. Again, flooding is going to be the biggest concern. Maybe some strong winds as well. We'll watch everything very closely, and of course you can with the Fox 47 Storm Shield weather app. Low 60s overnight tonight with showers and a few thunderstorms, mainly north. Tomorrow, showers, maybe a rumble of thunder. Now that's 69 degree high. That's going to be early in the morning. Most of the day will be in the low to mid 60s. More rain for Thursday. Friday looking good, drying out, but cooler. Another chance for rain comes in overnight Saturday and early Sunday. It's really going to be while we're sleeping. So okay. I think the weekend should be okay, but cooler. Upper 50s Much and cooler. 60s, yeah. All right, Brett, thank you.